Another week of RFL action is about to start here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Monday night game. I am your host, Dixon Sider, as we are going to get ready for this big game to start off the week. It is going to be the London Silly Nannies taking on Dead Boys, the Boise Boys, on this week three action. All right, let's get over to Boise. The teams are set. They are live for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start this game. White looking to kick the ball down the field. And that's going to be a touchback. And ladies and gentlemen, the London Silly Nannies are heading to the field on offense. Led by their star at quarterback, Dylan Tolliver. As he hands it off to Ramsey. Ramsey with a good run there. And that's going to be second down. Four yards on the carry. There we go. Ball at the 29 yard line. As he moves his receiver in. And gives it to Ramsey once again. But the defense is going to swallow him up. That's going to be Moran. On the tackle, and now it's third and eight. Go! As Kent Moran got the tackle, here we go, throw. Ray West with the catch, and that's gonna be first and ten. As we look at last week's passing stats for Dylan Tolliver, who had the. You have to believe that he's going to try and do his absolute best here. He got a 311 yard on, on the game. But unfortunately, uh, he's going to get swallowed up there, the running back, by Osgood. And now that's second and 11. Orson Ramsey with the run. Gets it to almost the first down marker. It's going to be third and three. On the next play. Here we go. Patterson gets stopped there. Right at the line of scrimmage. And now it's fourth down. As they're going to punt it across the field. Very pedestrian drive as that was. The Boise boys are going to come back on offense. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the boys are back in town. Led by their star quarterback, Tyrod Bean. Tyrod Bean had a d decent game last week. As that first play is going to go incomplete there. Second down coming up. Tyrod Bean got 261 yards and two touchdowns last week. Thus far making a solid candidate for MVP in the last couple of weeks. Go! As Bean hands it off to Brunswick. And the big story here is Andreas Headley. He is out. He's going to be out for at least six to eight weeks due to injury. So Brunswick has to step in as the uh, as the top Go. running back. And Murray with a nice catch there. And now it's going to be first and ten. Ball of the 39. And Tyrod Bean already making a, trying to make big plays early in this contest. Gets it to Emilio Allen. Crosses the first down Barker, and now it's first and ten once again, and now they're in opponent territory. And now, here it comes, first and ten. Go. Heads it to Brunswick. Brunswick gets it to the 45-yard line, and now it's second down. Go. 
Did it. And there it goes. That nice first down carry there. And looking at our notes, uh, Andreas Headley, yes, and suffered a major knee injury. What they let the doctors let him back on the field last week, but then he re-injured it towards the later ages in the game, and now he's going to be taking a little bit of time on. As Tyron Bean with the nice run there, but fumbled it, and Brunswick able to sw swallow the ball back up before they could cause a major turnover. And now it's second and seven. Tonight. Bean looking to throw. Bobs it down the field, incomplete. And now it's third and seven. Go. And Bean looking to throw. Oh, that it's gonna be incomplete there. Fourth down coming up. And even though this defense is missing their star at quarter, Sanford Harry. The defense is doing, did a pretty good job trying to Tonight. stop any, uh, uh, stop them from getting to the red zone, and let alone the end zone, as that 52 yarder is going to be good. Boise is up by three, and here we go. White's going to kick it down the field once again. And there we go. Back with this London offense. Trying to get back into uh, in, into rare form here. Tonight. And here we go. Sacked on the play. Tolliver took too long. And Barnett with the sack there. And now it's going to be second and 16. This defense is creating a lot of pressure, Tonight. swallowing up the uh, offense at times. As Abel Mathis with a big, big catch there. And they take it to opponent territory late in this first quarter. And here we go, Tolliver. Two for two already, 42 yards. Looking to throw. As gets it to Calvin Reyes. Gets a nice little gain there. Now it's going to be second down. And here we go. Second and four. Hands the ball off to Ramsey. And Ramsey gets swallowed up as Perez on the tackle. And now it's third and six. As Tolliver looks to throw. Incomplete on the play. Fourth and six coming up. With one second left in the first quarter. <coughs> As Cleo Ragsdale. Nice boot there. And now the Boise boys have to start on their own seven yard line. As we start the second half. Here we go. They're up by three. And they're looking to make a big play here. Brunswick gets it across the first down marker already. And now it's first and ten. Here we go. As the Boise boys are looking to get on a bit of a roll here. Bean hands it to Brunswick. Brunswick breaks tackle and gets it all the way to the 33 yard line on two plays. And that's going to be first and 10 once again. Brunswick having a really good game thus far. As they're going to run it with Dunn here, he's going to get swallowed up. And now it's going to be second and nine. Uh, Spencer Dunn having to move to running back position due to the injur injury of Headley. Originally a wide receiver. As Brunswick 
gets tackled there. As Dario Matthew with the nice tackle, it's third and seven. And here we go, third and seven. Takes the handoff. And the, and the running back was not able to catch the ball there. Miscommunication, and now it's going to be fourth and seven. As Stefan is going to punt the ball down the field there, and that's going to be a touchback. Taking a look again at this London offense, not doing not great necessarily here on this game, but in terms of passing offense overall, you have to imagine they're in the top five this season as Jimmy Pratton catches a big bomb down the field and showing us what we were just talking about. Now it's first and ten. Big throw there by Dylan Tolliver there, and now London is looking to score. Orson Ramsey able to get it to just about the 27-yard line, and now it's second and three. Go! Here we go. Bryson Beck carries it to about the 20-yard line, and now it's first and ten once again. Here we go. Yes, it's a Ramsey. Takes it into about the 15. It's second and five now. As London looks like they're wanting to go for the big one here. But even if they don't make it, three points is a good way to tie this game up. And Mathis getting stuffed there. As uh oh, hold on. Looks like we're gonna get we're gonna get a penalty here, and now Boise has just set up the London Silly Ladies in really good position. Ball on their own five yard line. <laughs> As the Ingram gets the ball, and that's gonna be touchdown London. Ingram with the nice catch, and now the London Silly Ladies have taken the lead. That must be very deflating, knowing that they could have held them to three. The put, the penalty just set them up in a terrible position there, and now London is up by, uh, by four. As Ellis is going to kick the down, that downfield. That's going to be a touchback here. As we take a look at this offense here of the Boise boys. Boise is looking to try and score on this drive. As the uh, last drive, they weren't doing too hot. <laughs> Brunswick has having a decent game thus far. As Aiden Cone gets the tackle there. Brunswick having a great game, get, making some big rushing plays, trying to set them in scoring position. The last drive wasn't the case. But, but Ballard with a nice catch there. As Tyron Bean with another big throw. And now it's first and ten. As Bean is looking good, but kind of inconsistent. And Brunswick, big run there, taking it to about the 26-yard line. And first down once again, Boise is in a good position here. Tonight. Bean, looking to throw. Bobs it down the field, and Spencer Dunn gets the touchdown. The What a big play there. And now Boise is taking the lead back. 
And the point after is good. And now White going to kick this back. And London is going to get the ball back before the two-minute warning. London was able to score a touchdown on the last drive. And now they're looking to try and take the lead back or at least tie the game up before the end of the first half. Because they know Boise gets the ball back at the start of the second half. As that's going to be a nice rush play. That might be the last play before the two-minute warning here. As it is, second and four now. London needs to come up with something big here on this drive. Right. Here we go. Ramsey runs the ball. And they get it to about the 38-yard line before getting tackled. And now it's first down. Here we go. Tolliver. Moving his receiver to his right. Tonight. As Tolliver looks to throw. Gets it to Ingram. Ingram breaks tackle. Gets it to about the 50-yard line there. As they need to play hurry up here. As the clock is against them right now. <laughs> Tolliver looking to throw. Brett, oh, and he's going to get sacked on the play. Bradford Perez on the sack. As now it's now it's going to be even harder to get the first down, let alone into scoring territory with 50 seconds left on the clock. As Tolliver looks for the throw, they have not taken a timeout yet. As they finally take their first timeout of the half. It's third and ten. Third and ten here. Ramsey gets up to about the 45-yard line. And now it's fourth and three. Unfor I don't know why they didn't go for the... I don't know why they didn't go for it here, but they're making the decision to punt the football as they, as Larson it looks like he's going to be taking, uh, taking a look at here. Looks like he injured his shoulder earlier in the contest. And here we go, Tyrod Bede looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete there. Second down coming up. Here we go, Tyrod B. Lucky the throw. As Emilio Allen with a nice catch there, and that's gonna be first and ten. And ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be the end of the first half. The score is 10-7, Boise. Alright, let's take a look at the stats for this game thus far. As ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the stats. The number of plays, the number of yards, and the number of rush, I mean, just total, has been pretty good. But if, in fairness, it does favor Boise, as they already have two sacks in this game. Right now, that makes sense why they had the lead. The score is 10-7. to 7. Yeah. And that's going to be the end of the stats report. We're going to take you back to the second half here we're live in Boise. As now we are beginning the second half of play. Ellis is going to kick the ball back downfield as that's going to be a touchback. And the Boise boys are going to do their absolute best to try to maintain or even just escalate this lead as much as they can here 
as Tyrod Bean is having a decent game thus far. Tonight. Already at 100 yards passing. As Jackie Hugh, the number one ranked receiver in the whole RFL league with a big reception there. It's going to be first and 10 once again. Go. And here we go. Throws it down the field again. That's going to be incomplete that time. But you imagine if he would have caught that. That would have been just a two-play drive just to score from 80 yards out. Would have been huge there. But now it's second and ten. Brunswick with the run. Breaks tackle. Gets it to about the 31-yard line. And now it's first and ten once again. Here we go. First and ten. Brunswick having a great game running already for 73 yards. As Bean looks to throw. Gets it to Cole. And that's going to be a touchdown. And Tyron Bean has already made it well known that this is his yard. And now... A nice kick there. Point after is good. Tyrod Bean is absolutely dominating right now. And here we go. White looking to kick it down the field. There we go. And here we go. Tolliver is back on offense. He wants to create a big play here just so they can play a little bit of catch up. As Ramsey gets about eight yards on the carry, that's going to be second down. And now Tolliver is trying to, he's got a good interesting formation here. His back down goes with the run. And now it's going to be first and ten. Bryson Beck with a nice run there. But they need to they come up with something big. They're already down by ten. As Ramsey looks to run. And that's going to be a short gain on the play. Second and seven. Here we go. Tolliver. Moves his receiver outright. Tonight. And Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Hayes. And now it's going to be first and ten. Hike. Here we go. Tolliver looking to run. Get, only gets it to about the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That's going to be second down. Tried to fool him a little bit on that rush play, but no one was fooled. Now it's second and ten. And Ramsey. Able to get it to about the 39-yard line. And now it's third and four. Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Ramsey. Ramsey with the big catch. And now they're only a couple of yards away from the red zone. And now it's first and ten. Go. Pratton with the nice catch there. Taking it to about the ten. And now it's first and goal. London is really looking to get a touchdown here. Pratton's had a pretty good game Tonight. thus far. 58 yards on two catches. Tolliver throws. And wow. That was almost picked off there. It's second and goal. And 
And now Tolliver. Moving his receiver to his left. Gives it to Ramsey. Ramsey is looking to score. And they are just short. Five yards left to try and score this touchdown. Tonight. And that's going to be incomplete there as they might just set up for a field goal on this play. As Ellis is going to try to kick it between the posts here. And that's going to be good there. And honestly, it's not as much as they wanted, but London, is, London just able to narrow the deficit. Pretty decent drive there as now they're going to kick it off. Three minutes left in the third. As Brunswick is going to look to return this kick. Breaks tackle. Breaks it again. As he takes it to about the 40-yard line. What a big return there. And now the boys are back on the field. Here we go. Bean. Bombs it! Emilio Allen with the big reception there. And now they're on the seven yard line. What a huge throw there by Tyron Bean. Go. And Brunswick able to get it to just the two yard line. And now it's second and goal. Here we go. Two. Jackie Hugh gets swallowed up there by Dario Matthew. No gain on the play. It's going to be third down. And here we go. Two yards left. Brunswick, touchdown. Josiah Brunswick able to get this lead up a little bit more. And now the Boise boys are up by are gonna be up by 14 after this field goal. Man, how impressive on offense are the Boise boys. As they're going to kick it down the field. And now we take a look at the London Silly Nannies. They only got a field goal in this drive. If they want to stay in this game, they really need to get some touchdowns on the field. Tonight. As Tolliver looks to throw. That's going to be incomplete. Tolliver trying to... Uh, think of big gating yard plays but that's just gonna not cut it there that's gonna be now it's gonna be second and ten go! here we go Orson Ramsey gets swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage by Kit Moran Moran's having a decent game today and now that's gonna be third and ten And that's going to be a flag on the play. And picked off there by Pip Sticks. And that's going to be a turnover. And the Boise boys are back on offense. Pip Sticks with the big play there. Able to get the interception, and now the Boise boys are back, as there's Copeland. Able to get it to just about the 44-yard line on the play, and now it's going to be the end of the third. 
Boise is up by 14. Man, if there is a sure ballot number one team already in the making that you feel like is going to win the championship, Boise might be it this early on as Brunswick gets swallowed up by Cundiff Houston. And now it's third and four. And Tyron Bede, being the field general that he is. At this point, I might just call him General Bede, Jackie Hugh with a nice catch there. And now it's first and ten. The general, Tyron Tonight. Bede, already back. And Brunswick. Able to get about five yards on the carry and second and five. As Brunswick with a nice run there. And now it's third and inches. This has been an absolutely impressive showing here. But now Boise. <laughs> Wants to go for a big play here as Jackie Hugh with the big catch and the touchdown. And now it's fair to say at this point this might be completely out of reach. The Boise boys are now up by 21 with only seven minutes left on the clock. And here we go. White is gonna kick this down the field. And now on the 25 yard line, man, Dylan Tolliver is gonna have to take this offense and get them like way down the field so early and often. It's gonna be, he's gonna have to do that three times over and that's, that's a little hard to do with a little over seven minutes on the clock. That's it's going to be second and eight. Tolliver's still probably kicking himself after throwing the interception to Pip Sticks. Tonight. As Tolliver looks to throw, flag on the play. Abel Mathis with the catch, but this is going to come back as Pe Jasper Pellegrino was holding on the play and now it's second and 18. And here we go. Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Ramsey but that's going to be another flag on the play. Jasper Pellegrino with a holding call. And now they got to start from their own seven. Second and 28 coming up. Sit up. There we go. Lucky to throw here. Gets it to Abel Mathis for a short gain. And now it's going to be third and 22. Ball on the 13 yard line. As go. Tolliver is behind center. Looking to throw, gets it off to Ray West on the play, as that's going to be first down, taking them out of such an unfortunate scenario to be in, as Dylan Tolliver, as we look at his stats, 201 yards on the game, one touchdown, it's a decent game for him, the problem was he threw the one pick early in the third, and now they just really, really need to get back and score, uh, to, to score a touchdown here. And that requires them to at least turn the ball over twice or make them go three and out early twice. And that's, that's, uh, that's asking a lot if we're being honest. Third and eight coming up. 
with four minutes left on the clock. Dylan Tolliver really needs to go big. Go big, go home, as that's gonna be a sack there. Bradford Perez, big sack, fourth and 18 coming right up. As Bradford Perez with 10 tackles and two sacks on the game. As Ray West with a big catch there. Taking it to about the 33 yard line, it is first and 10. And there we go. Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Abel Mathis. As we have one 301 on the clock. Can they can they score at least a touchdown before the two-minute warning? Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it off, and that's gonna be incomplete. Third and five coming up. Here we go. Tolliver bring his receiver to his left. And Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Jimmy Pratton. Pratton with a big catch. As that's going to be first down. Ball of the 18. And now Tolliver with 2.53. Throws it. And another interception. Picked off by James Osgood. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this ball game is now officially over. Tyrod Bean is back on offense. The defense making big plays there. And now I think it's fair to say that the Boise boys have secured the win up to this point. And he hasn't even been the two minute warning yet. Also shout out to Josiah Brunswick. Usually playing fullback but he had to play halfback due to the injury sustained by Headley, but he's had a really good game up to this point as London's gonna take a timeout here It's gonna be first and ten now Tyron B Gives it to Brunswick Brunswick able to get three yards in the carry before the two-minute warning And now Bean All he has to do is run the clock down. Gives it to Murray. Nice trick play there. And that, he's going to get stopped there by Eduardo Guillen as they're going to take their second time out. And here we go. It's third down. Tyrod Bean. Lining up behind center. Man, what a game he's, he, he had today. And now Brunswick getting swallowed up by Augustus Duggar as London is going to take their final time out. The only thing London can really do now is just make them a little look a little bit better on the score sheet, on the stat sheet. But this game is completely out of reach now as it looks like the Boise boys are about to be under still be undefeated and unfortunately for the London State Eddies they're still trying to get their first win on the season and that is going to be incomplete there second down coming up and Dylan Tolliver unfortunately throwing two picks which really hurt him in the end and that's going to be swatted away. Third and ten coming up. As it looks like Ray West is going to get checked up on the sideline. Looks like he caught a bit of a stinger there. Tonight. Throws it to Ingram. As they get the first down on the play. 
But man, shout out to the Boise boys. If you're talking about a team that looks like they're going to go places this season, as that's going to go incomplete on the play, man, they are definitely the number one team to look forward to being in the championship game. As now it's second and ten. <laughs> Tolliver looking to throw. Gets it to Mathis. And now it's third and four. And now Tolliver. Hike. Looking for something big here. Throws it to Pratton. Pratt with the big catch. Getting another first down there. As now they're just padding stats. And here we go. Tolliver. Lucky the throw here. As sacked on the play. As Bradford Perez is going to pad more stats for himself. He's definitely going to be defensive player of the game here. Tonight. And that's going to be incomplete. Almost picked off again. As if I were the London Silly Nannies, I would just reevaluate and figure out what they're going to be doing from this Go. point out. Because they don't want to get eliminated this early from playoff contention. As that's going to be third, uh, end of third down. 23 seconds left on the clock. Can they do something big here? Otherwise, I think Boise uh, is just going to take a knee and call it a day. That's going to be incomplete there. And I, ladies and gentlemen, the Boise boys are just going to take the knee. And they're just going to go home. And the fans are going to go happy, home happy as well. This has been a tremendous game. And all the home crowd is just jumping for joy as they just saw their boys come back to town and win as ladies and gentlemen there's your score the boise boys 31 the london silly days 10 and we're going to take a look at our mvps here tyrod bean the field general himself getting 271 yards on the game and three touchdowns and of course our defensive mvp goes to the insane Bradford Perez with 11 tackles, with those 11, three of those tackles being sacks. This has been a tremendous game. I, have, of course, have been your host, Dixon Sider. We will see you next time.